you like say action or anything? Just go. <laughs> so, if you look on my roof, you'll see seven panels. There used to be four. I started off with four. I've had four for about two years, but I just got a sweet deal on three more shot 225 watt panels, less than a dollar a watt. So there were three available. I bought all three. Um, it's kind of interesting uh, this happened because my batteries are are not in great condition. Um, they were sitting around a couple different times for one time for a year, another time for six months, not on battery conditioners, just not connected to anything. And it really it built up some sulfate on the on the plates and they just haven't ever really been exactly the same ever since. So, you know, they don't hold a charge quite as well. They still work really good, perfectly fine for my uses. Um, I even brought them back to life a little bit. I, I sulfated, uh, sorry, I, um, I equalized the crap out of them, which is basically putting in a, getting them to a higher voltage to break off some of the sulfate off those plates. Um, and that brought them back to a, a good extent. Uh, but the bottom line is they're not new batteries. They're probably about five years old at this point even. So um, what to do when your batteries start to go? Um, well, you batteries- bought them, You bought them used, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I bought my batteries used um, and they had already been used for probably about a year, year and a half at that point. And they sat around for a while, and then I've used them on and off for the past like three years. So they're probably about five years old now. Um, so what to do when your batteries uh, start losing their life? Um, there's a couple things. You can, uh, you can try desulfators. Uh, desulfators basically send a pulse uh, charge to your batteries, and it's uh, like a high voltage like burst like constant bursting and that's to try to break that sulfate off the plates because that's what degrades battery life that's why eventually they become unusable when too much sulfate builds up on those plates um, you can do that I never tried it I just equalized them which is a steady flow of high voltage similar um, same uh, same objective different way of going about it um, so you can try that and see how that works out for you but you know I got these. I got these panels, and uh, and it, it kind of opened my eyes to another option. Um, yeah, your ba batteries will last between seven to ten years. Uh, on my LT16s, uh, will last about seven to ten years. And then being on the roof with the temperature fluctuations, the design of the Earthship, uh, you know, you're probably looking at the lower end of that. Probably about seven years. Um, maybe longer it depends uh depends on some factors but you know eventually they're going to start going and you know generally the gist is oh it's time to buy new batteries well batteries are going to cost eight deca lt16s will cost you 3500 four thousand dollars it's a big investment to make so now i have these these extra panels on my roof i'm getting i'm getting another about 400 watts of charging every single day i'm recovering I used to basically recover about 15% of my battery's total charge in a day with four panels. Now I'm recover recovering about 25% of their total charge in a day. So it makes me think, you know, as the batteries start to like lose their life and not hold a charge as well, well, you know, it's been seven to 10 years. Instead of spending $3,500 to $4,000, uh, go out and try to get a really good deal on a couple more panels. Maybe you can get them like I did. Get a couple more 200, 250 watt panels for 500 bucks and throw them on there. And yeah, your batteries won't hold the charge as long. You won't have as much autonomy, um, which means as, as uh, many days of electricity without sunlight. Uh, but even in low sunlight, you, you'll still be getting more of a charge as long as you get your charging voltage as high as you can, uh, doing as many of the panels in series as you can. Uh, you could still get a charge, a good charge, even on a cloudy day, especially with more panels. So, you know, like you said, your autonomy maybe goes down my situation as with my type of system. As it gets older, it might go from three days of autonomy down to two or maybe even lower than that. Maybe it'll just last you a day or a day and a half. But if you could pretty much count on it being sunny most days and maybe you even have a backup generator, which most people probably would have anyway, in a total off-grid situation, uh, it might be worth it to hold off from spending that $3,500, $4,000. Spend $500, get a couple more panels, and you could probably cruise on those batteries being really 
not performing well for probably for at least a couple more years, maybe even three to five years. Uh, so I think it's a good option. And then as a bonus, you have, when you do get new batteries, you still got more panels. So you're, so you still have that advantage the entire time. And I'll tell you, having more panels while it's, uh, yeah, it's more expensive, it's more infrastructure, it's more things you'll have to replace eventually. It's really nice when you see your batteries charging super fast throughout the day and you just know that you just don't have to worry about using too much power. I'm gonna talk about how to truly properly size your solar system, um, how much power batteries can really store, and the way a solar system really works because it's pretty amazing how many people that have solar systems don't truly understand.